So far in this course, we've been focusing on applications of integrals, but now we're going to switch to focusing on integration techniques for a little while. Um, so I just have an outline over here of the different techniques that we're going to be learning within this chapter, um, starting with integration by parts. Um, and these first three techniques will be included on exam one. So before we get into talking more about what integration by parts is, let's remind ourselves what we know about integration techniques so far. So the first technique that we learned um, for doing integrals is our antiderivative rules. Okay. And so you do want to make sure that you know um, all our different antiderivative rules that are listed on this um, handout here of basic integration rules and properties found both on the Math 1080 website and on the um, Canvas our Canvas course webpage. So all of the different rules on here are things that we know up to this point except for um, rules 9 and 10, which we will be learning in section 7.2. So you want to make sure you're really comfortable with those different antiderivative rules. So besides our antiderivative rules, what else do we know how to do to um, handle integrals? Well, we know how to do maybe a little bit of algebra in order to uh, simplify things. You know, we could have things like an integral of x squared, times x plus 1, and we'd have to multiply that out and then use antiderivative rules. Or maybe we'd have something like x squared plus 3 all over x dx, and we'd have to uh, divide each of our terms by x and then use a rule. So we have those kinds of techniques. The first main technique that we learned um, back in Calc 1 was u substitution. So I think of u substitution as sort of our first integration technique, and then we're building on that throughout this chapter. And we'll actually see how u substitution is sometimes used within some of these new techniques. So we want to make sure we're comfortable with that, um, that u substitution technique. So let's start looking at some connections between um, u substitution and this new technique we're going to introduce, integration by parts, and some derivative rules. So what derivative rule is related to u substitution. Well, u substitution is actually connected to the chain rule. So we can think of u substitution as a backwards chain rule. And we're going to see that integration by parts is actually um, a backwards version of another derivative rule. But let's see what I mean by thinking of u substitution as a backwards chain rule. So just to kind of see how our derivation of um, integration by, by parts is going to have some, some similarity. So remember that the chain rule is for dealing with the derivative of a composition of functions. So if I have the derivative of f of g of x, I know that this is f prime of g of x times g prime of x. And if I then wanted to integrate something like f prime of g of x g prime of x. u substitution is going to be a helpful technique. I would let u be g of x, du be g prime of x dx. So I'd be looking at integrating f prime of u du, which would be the function f of u plus c or f of g of x plus c. Okay, so we can see how the chain rule is connected to our u substitution technique. Okay, so what about the connection between a derivative rule and integration by parts? So I'll just have a little summary here. Derivative rule and its related um, integral rule. So we see that the chain rule and u substitution are connected to each other. Well, we're going to see that integration by parts is actually related to another important derivative rule, which is the product rule. Okay. So let's see how we can figure out a formula for integration by parts using what we know about the product rule for derivatives. So we're going to look at a backwards product rule. Okay. So remember that our product rule for derivatives would say that the derivative of a product of functions, let's call them u of x and v of x, would be equal to u prime of x times v of x plus u of x times v prime of x. Because we do the derivative of the first function times the second function plus the first function times the derivative of the second function. And we know that the derivative of a product is not just the product of the derivatives. So if I make my notation a little bit simpler, I could call this the derivative of u times v is u prime v plus u v prime. 
So we're going through this derivation so you can see where the formula for integration by parts comes from. Also help you remember it a little bit better. So remember, I'm looking for a formula for an integral. So I'm going to integrate both sides of what I have here for this derivative rule. And I know if I integrate this derivative, that's going to undo the derivative. So I'm going to have uv equals an integral. And I'm just going to put u prime v plus uv prime in here. Okay, dx. And well, let's break that up into two separate pieces. So I'm going to have an integral. Let's just reorder these um, two parts here. The integral of v u prime dx plus an integral of u v prime dx. Okay, so this is very close to um, what we're going to see for our integration by parts formula. But just to get it into um, the familiar version of the formula, I'm going to introduce a little bit of notation. So notice that if u is equal to f of x, du would be f prime of x dx, which I could also call um, u prime dx. So du could be u prime dx. I'm going to be able to replace that u prime dx with du. And if v was equal to g of x, dv would be g prime of x dx, or dv would be, oops, g prime of x dx, would be v prime dx. I'm going to be able to call that v prime dx dv. So I get this version where I have uv is the integral of v du plus the integral of u dv. And then we choose for our formula to solve for this integral of u dv. So let's see what that looks like. So our formula for integration by parts is the integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. And really we could have chosen to solve for either one of these two integrals, but the choice in terms of how we look at our, our formula is to solve for this whoops, integral of u dv. Okay. So this is our nice formula. So what are some key things to notice about this? So we're going to see that integration by parts is a really useful integration technique for dealing with integrals of products of different kinds of functions that we can't um, handle by doing algebraic simplification. And what I'll do is I'll take an integral that's of this sort of form, some u part times some dv part, and we'll identify u is some part of our integral and dv is some part of the integral and then figure out what du is and what v is, and then use these different pieces to rewrite the integral in this form that we have on the right-hand side. <coughs> Excuse me, with the goal being that this new integral part that we're going to have um, will be easier for us to compute than what we had to start with. Okay, so we're going to see how this formula is used um, in several examples um, as we go through the rest of these video lectures.